Welcome back to a raucous environment. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Danny Shannon from Nobody Cares Sports Network. We're broadcasting to you live from the beautiful and picturesque southern shores of New York City, the one and only town without pity, Staten Island, the forgotten borough. I'm Danny Shannon. I'll be providing play-by-play -play this afternoon for what is the boys' varsity championship between IS-24 and IS-61. Joining me for color commentary for the fourth game in this quadruple header on Championship Friday is Leanne Portside, and boy, am I lucky what to have up, her. What up, Leanne, welcome back. Thank you for not leaving me. Thank you for having me. Bookie, how are you feeling? Bookie, it's the first quarter. Can't <laughs> go by that scoreboard, Bookie. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, it is wild. It is IS24 that won the JV crown for boys just before the start of this game, which is moments away. The IS61 Knights take the court. They're wearing all black uniforms. They have yellow and red trim. They have a knight mascot across the chest, and they are wearing red letters. There are no names on the back of these varsity jerseys. As for IS24, they come out with somewhat of a Greek-style uniform. It is a white uniform with checkered blue and red going across the body and the shorts. Well, if you're not sure where these two teams are from, it's a good old-fashioned North versus South matchup. IS24 ventures here from Great Hills. As we're on the southern tip of New York City, if you go any further, you'll be in the ocean. You need to swim. You want me to go swimming? I think you need to swim. Oh, <laughs> lady, what I need, get a list going. Jimmy Max. <laughs> we are one. underway. I would love to go to Jimmy Max. It's the Morris Knights controlling us to start in the boys varsity championship game. Three point deflected. No one knew where it was. Controlled by 24. That's right, and it'll be IS24 who brings it across the timeline. Jordan Sage. I do have to say, the size differences. It's crazy is from 7th to 8th grade. Yeah. The JV to varsity is wild. There was the one. The one I completely agree. Yeah. There was one that was very, very little on JV. But these kids are large. They're just like string beans, and they're muscular, too. These kids work out nowadays. Off, the, off his own foot, gets it back. Right wing to left wing. Back to the right wing, wide open, pops it. Oh, Corson tries and to it's bury good. it from downtown and does. Kevin Corson, gonna be a St. Peter's boy. His father went to Curtis. Um, not sure why everybody's going to graduate from Curtis and send their kids to Peter's, but. Mm. Curtis back in the day was the powerhouse, man. Yeah. Now yeah. Peters is taking know, everybody. I guess. Yeah. No. Oh. Everyone's heavy got, lies the crown, Liam. Seems like everyone's got more money to spend their send their kids to Catholic school nowadays. My kid's getting the, his education from the library. Sage sends it in left side of the paint. It's Shooting chipped ahead. away. Oh. And another turnover here as it's 24 who has it. Double teamed along the boundary, forced to give it up. They get it across the timeline. This is Callen Burke with it, who sends it up top. Sage on the left wing, stutter step, gains access to the paint, kicks it right, a foul wow. on the shot attempt. Going to the line to shoot two here with 6.06 remaining in the first is Burke. Callen Burke also plays basketball for Our Lady Queen of Peace. I'm so unfamiliar with all these schools. Well, welcome to Nobody Cares. That's I why you know. get paid the big bucks. I know. I'm a, I'm a North Shore girly. Right. Bookie's trying to tell me something. I don't know. He wants a microphone, but I just refuse to give him one. I think we should give him one, but like we should have like a mute button. You know? Should, like, <laughs> it's like when you give a controller to your little brother or sister and it's, and not, it's not on. In. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll mute it the whole time. I, I had the not plugged in controller when, growing up. Story of my life, lady. Bookie, he's going to unplug his headphones. He, he doesn't want to hear <laughs> us. Hear <laughs> Second foul shot, good. Gets them on the board. That's important. Three to one is our score. Shelling it up left side. Cutting down the middle. No Noah way. Scott. 
Kevin Corson thinks of it. Scott gets it back up top, fakes the pass left, now drives into the paint, sends Kicks it up it to out. Corson. Swing. Bounce pass three. From Reinhold sends it to Corson, who fires the three, can't get it to go. It's off the fingertips of Ebo. It's going to be 24 basketball. What do you got, Leon? I'm trying to look at Corson's shoes. They look like they got different colored stripes on the bottom. Get lost in those things. I am, I am. The shoes are distracting. Sage can't handle the pass. Bookie can't handle the camera. We'll get everything going. It's the fourth game, people. It's we'll a, be all right. It is a marathon and a sprint. Yes. And we're all losing. 24 playing a tight two Corson one, two. intends to fire about 52 threes this afternoon. Poked away. 24 controls. Back down the court. Well, down the other end. Bodied up by Kevin Corson. He wasn't letting him get anywhere. Bogan loses it. Here's a shot from the top of the key. Unfortunatus. The bounce won't go. Second there chance go. opportunity goes. Shinoda Fahim. Tipped it back in. Ladies and gentlemen, the equalizer. We are all knotted up at three. Oh, beautiful Ooh, runner, God. left side, gets it to go. That's Colin wow. Reinhold with the bucket. IS 61 with a two point lead. And a foul call sending Jordan Say Sayer? Oh, man. Sage. There's, there's, that's Sage? Yeah. All right, I would not have guessed that. Anyway, well, he's Jordan a baller. Sage. That's why I know the last Jordan name. Jordan Sage, shooting two. I burn Sage before every broadcast here. You know, I want to you know get rid of all energy and start clean. I snort peppermint. Well, there we are, <laughs> folks. Closer together and yet further apart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sage at the line in a five-three ball game. No good. Can't cut it closer. Rebounded by the Knights. 4 15 remaining in the first quarter. Oh. Reinhold fires the three. He's yeah. fouled in the process. Got a little hand on his hip on the way up. So you're saying three foul shots? Yeah, three foul shots. Wow. That's really wild. <laughs> it's loud. You can't hear. It is deafening loud in here, yeah. Leanne. I don't know if it's just because like we have the headphones on and well, then I take them off and it's like when you like have the tunnel. headphones on and take them off, it, it's like wow, it's yeah. really loud. It, this it actually helps you. Yeah. You know because it is insanely loud in here, man. A second or third? Did they give him three? I, th I hope they gave him three. Anyway, so. last foul shot was good. 17 bringing the ball down. We still don't know what his last name is. 6-3 is our score. We're going to call him Lewison, even though he ignored yeah. him. Sends it left to Sage, and he's going to be called for a too many steps, I believe. We should have just said the three different names that we have for him and see which one he turned for. Instead of going with bro. I got a PlayStation 5 here for Lewis. <laughs> so Scott sends it over left. Oh. He goes to receive it right. And Corson launches this one into the crowd. It's a miscommunication. <laughs> Coach Elliot Wilson says... 17 is Braden Lewison. Lewison? Yeah. All right. We've been right the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Not the So he, it's the same number on the jersey. It's just a different last name. Right. So I wonder if it's like a last year's jersey or something. Maybe he grew out of the one he has. Maybe. I have so many questions, huh? All these boys are like little string beans. They're so tall. String beans. Here is a three from the corner. Comes up just a bit shy. Corson with it. Now gives it back to Scott, who brings it across the timeline. 2.40 remaining here on the first quarter of play. 
in the boys' varsity championship. Scott with it, right elbow, kicks it to the corner. Deflected. The three won't go. Second chance. Get up, get going. No oh, good. No. Third, Third opportunity. Kick the out. Kick out. Kevin Corson. Corson a three. Can't get it to go. A fourth opportunity here off Arango's of rebound. Scott, Scott fires no it. Good. Can't get it to go. How many opportunities? Finally, IS 24 Lewis comes up, up with the board. Turn around, there jumper, baseline. Lewison gets it to go. Six five is our score. Beautiful take. Oh, battle for the board. Second oh, chance God. opportunity falls. As a grown man getting the rebound and putting it back, Leanne. Getting, getting after it himself and putting it back. Taking care of business and cleaning up. My goodness. Driving middle, kicking out to the left. Can't really see what's going on. Loose Could ball. be a turnover here. Instead, it's saved, but Corson it gets is. it now for the Knights. Battle for the ball. Everyone diving for it at half court. And we've got a referee whistle here. And an explanation being given to the IS61 coach. I want one, too. No hand signals are being used, and it's... <laughs> getting a little confusing the faster these games get. Absolutely. 8-5 is our score. Want to give a shout out right now. And it's a great time to shout out our friends from Century Waste Services. Mark Savino, a proud supporter of the network. You're looking to get your waste removed from job sites, whether it's a construction project or you happen to own a business. No better people than those that are supporting local sports here. Proud Official sponsors of the Nobody Cares Sports Network. Shout out to our guy, Mark Savino. We appreciate you. Reach out to him at 1-800-467-7775. Do you think they'll pick me up? Because I don't know if I can drive home after this. I'm a waste from a work site, I think. Interesting. Um, <laughs> I would like you to get hauled out of here in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> Bookie too. <laughs> Lewison buries one from downtown. And ladies and gentlemen, we're all nutted up at the Ocho. <laughs> eight, eight is our score. No foul oh, call. beautiful beat into the paint. Omar Arango lays it up and in. 10 to eight is our score. IS 61. Driving to the middle, floater. Regains possession, the lead. Buried. It's a two. They're calling that a two. Oh, wow. A two leaves us knotted up at 10. Just under 40 to go. This is They're a great trying to way get a to play finish call the first going. quarter. They're Noah Scott working around a high screen. Right side. Back to the basket. Sends it up to Corson, who fires a long three. And it's good. Yeah. Under 20 to go. Will they hold for one? Let's see. 13 to 10 is our score. 12 seconds on the game clock. 24 Let's looking to respond. It. And the foot is oh, on the way. line. Running clock. Running clock. They got to get it in. The ref is taking his sweet time. My God. Scott throws it oh, up good. at the buzzer. And it won't go. I mean, the ref's got to get it in and know that the, there's a running clock in that situation. Yeah. But instead, it's not me giving that information. It's the... IS61 coaches delivering it. Rightfully so. Nobody cares. Nobody cares here. Do you know who our broadcast booth is powered by, Leanne? Uh, Main Street Coffee. Now we're talking. Back after this with the second quarter.
My microphone was dead here. Sorry, my soul is. <laughs> Back at it in the second quarter. Fourth game. A lot of talking between the crowd and some of these players starting, and it's early to start doing that stuff. Wow. So we'll see how crazy this gets in a little bit. 13 to 10. 61's ball. No good from the corner. 24 rebound. Burke with a rebound. 24 brings it across the timeline successfully. Stolen away. Scott looking to go coast to coast. Lays oh, it up. Can't get it to ball. Too much on that roll. Woo. That was his opportunity. That was. Fahim sends it over to Lewison, who can't get it to go. 61 with a three-point lead. Just under seven minutes to go here in the first half of play in the Boys' Varsity Championship for public schools on Staten Island. There you go. The long 20-footer. A beautiful pick and roll. Omar Arango gets it to go. And Scott with the assist. 15-10 is our score. 24, slowing it down a little bit. Lewison sends it on to the right wing. Stutter step from Burke. Drives left and goes right into a double team. That's a jump ball. Scott again on the... It's going to be IS-61 basketball. Yeah. They need... Could call it travel. They, oh, they called the travel? That's what Bookie says, but take it with a grain of salt. He can't be trusted. No. Thank you. Now you're starting to get it. <laughs> Bookie, what's the over-under for this Scott game? Scott firing a deep three and, and buries it. I'm loving this little friendship between Scott and Kevin Corson. Every time one of them hits a shot, they're doing this little celebration. It's so cool. 18 to 10 is our score. Turnover. Scott comes up with it. Now going the other way. No good on the fast break. 24 has got a wide man wide open. He doesn't pick his head up until Arango it's too late. with a massive chase down block. He didn't pick his head up until it was way too late. Wow. He had a man wide open. Number 23 was sitting, camping out underneath that basket, waiting for a cherry pick. Kicks it out. Number 23 deflected, taken up by 61. Ahead to Scott. Oh, Scott lays it up and in. Out of boy. Way to. What a beautiful finish by him. He had the big man trailing behind him, used his body, finished nicely. IS 61 with a 20 to 10 lead. They've really opened it up here in the second quarter. Over IS24 as we have this moment in time. I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor. I think it's a place we all would like to go after this game. Man, if I wasn't going out to dinner for my friend matching into her residency from, from med school, I would be going to Jimmy Max tonight. That's where I would like to be. I would like to go to Jimmy Max too, but I have social anxiety, and every time I go in there, the place is packed. Listen, if go if you choose to go on a Monday, Wednesday, or Friday night, just give me a text. I live down the block. I'll come with you. All the servers know me, basically. They know okay. me by face, not by name. They, they see That's me walk, the better way to be. They see me know? walk in, and they're like, uh, the girl that doesn't know how to cook is back. <laughs> yeah, oh, I see. Oh, what's the matter? You haven't learned how to cook yet? Come nope. on in. And I'll take an order of those Philly cheesesteak egg rolls to go. Does your husband go eat or you leave him to starve at home? <laughs> no, I, I bring him with me. All right, come on. You get to eat. Five minutes to go here in the first half. Lewis in with the ball. Bookie doing a tremendous job. We're almost done, pal. Sage with it. Ooh, ooh. Going right. Kicks it out. Long jumper for 24. Won't go. Rebounded by the Knights. Risky pass, almost picked off. Scott controls, kicks it out to Kevin Corson. 4-3, no good. Can't get it to go. Going down the other way. Got a cherry picker. They don't see him. But they see him now. It's too sends late. Sends it up. Lewis it, receives it in the corner. Triple team and a foul, a foul call. foul call. Are they calling for a timeout? I don't know if, what this kid is doing. He keeps doing a T with his hands. 
They're just going to give him a timeout at some He's point. He's asking for a technical foul to be called <laughs> against the other team because they're playing so tenacious. Tenacious. It's not how it works. You can't just turn around and ask for a T every time. Yeah. Asking for a foul is one thing. Yeah, no, you can't ask for a technical <laughs> foul. Oh, it's too good. Kick it out. Sage, pump fake. See, it rolls off around. the tongue once you know how to say it. Yeah. Well, there's like 30 different letters in there that shouldn't be there. I understand. <laughs> yeah, I have to send them a fruit basket now because you I butchered know. their last name. I'm sorry, the Sages. You're not. S A Y E G H. You can't blame me for that. No, I can't. Like I read it the first time I ever read it. I got it right, so I don't know. Phonetically, it makes sense, but yeah. Well, there's a pass left side. Nobody home for 24. So, IS 61 will inbound it. They're up by 10 with. Three minutes and 30 seconds to go here in the first half of play with a running clock. To Leanne's friends, I am very sorry she's late <laughs> for dinner. I will send her with a fruit basket next gathering. They'll understand. As long as I get there before the dessert espresso martinis are ordered, I'll be fine. Okay. Don't threaten me <laughs> a good time. Miss all the drama and get there in time for dessert. Oh, Got it. I love it. It's the way I rolled it. Played in. like a champion. I'm, I'm playing chess. They're playing checkers. Fahim gets it to Lewison, who fires a wild shot from the left. Can't get it to fall. And instead on the rebound, it's Ebo, who New gives point it up guard to Reinhold. for 61. I don't know where Scott is. There, a breather. 61's getting a little sloppy with Scott on the sideline. Fahim they throws it up right side. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by the Knights. There hasn't been a basket for either team in no, quite a while. Reinhold brings it across. Arengo with it. Oh, Beautiful move beautiful. with the right hand. Gets it to go off the glass. <laughs> 22 to 10 is our score. IS 61 with their largest lead of the game. Sage for three. No oh, good. Had a good Way look too strong. at it. Kevin Corson gets the long rebound. Behind oh, the back. Oh, behind the back goes Sage. Blocks it one-on-one. -on -one. Fahim with it now. And he's going to be fouled. Double teamed underneath his own basket. Or 61's basket. <laughs> 24 coming down the court. Under two minutes to go, 22 to 10, 61 is leading, and the 24 throws the ball away. Big guy bringing the ball down, gets it to the point guard, Reinhold. Slow it down, minute 30 to go. It's gonna hang out until someone comes and gets him, I think. There they go. 22, 10, 1, 25 remaining here in the first half. Pull up jumper. Arango it's good. gets it to go. They've opened it up, Leanne. It's a 24 to 10 game. 14 point spread. Bookie, how's the over under looking? Not too good, he said. <laughs> I don't really understand what that means. Lewis. He didn't even give us a line. Stutter step goes to his right. Under a minute to go, running clock. Raheem Sage now Ooh, passes it in. And, yeah, foul call is going to go against Omar Arango. Man just came down and drained a long two and instead commits a silly foul on the defensive end. Under a minute to go here in the first half of play. IS 61 up 14 points over 24. <laughs> I understand. These bleachers are not being kind to my legs. No, I'm no, so no. tight. <laughs> I'm like Lieutenant Dan in the second part of Forrest Gump. When he gets his legs? Oh, that's the very end. I'm talking more like when he doesn't have them. You got special legs. Second foul shot. This crowd. It's good. 61 slowing down the pace, making 24 come to them. And with good reason as Reinhold brings it across the timeline slowly. A little crossover. And a timeout. Time Called by 61's coach just under 40 seconds to go in the second half. 
Leanne, say what up to all you people at home. More importantly, say hello to the um, say hello to your friends that you're late for dinner with. Hi guys, I'm so sorry. I'm the worst, but I can't say no to Danny. She's not sorry at all. Sorry, not sorry. She's uh, working the greatest job on earth. I know. Nobody cares. Sports Network. This is the dream. Danny Let me tell and the you. bookie on a Friday night. I know. I love hanging with the bookie. Can't ask for anything more. And you're going out. Is there a secret where you're going out to tonight? We're, we're going to Blue. I didn't know if I could say it because they're not a sponsor. Oh, no. We support know, all know. local businesses. I didn't know how, how the sponsors felt about non-sponsors being mentioned. We don't care. So I'm going to Blue. We go oh. there We go there all the time. We love it there. Good food. Good and I'm going to like this. I'm not a big fan of seafood. I'm not either. Okay. Um, But they do have like, I, I'm good with shrimp. So they do have like the, a good like shrimp dish. That's, I like it. Yeah. Okay. And it has it's like a it's like a red pepper cream sauce. I usually get that. It is a beautiful, beautiful restaurant. Yeah, especially with the weather tonight. Thirty seconds to go. Sixty-one, slowing it down again, making them come out and play defense. 20, Twelve point lead here for the Knights. Twenty-four staying in this zone. It looks like when really they should just go into a man. Arango. Pull up Fires jumper it. from right the, elbow. Yeah, he goal. hit he hit the one from the left elbow just a couple of seconds ago. Mm. Lay that one back. up and in. Jaden Crawford lays it up and in. Two seconds to go in the half. Last minute heave, and it's good. It's money from downtown. A three from Lewison. That brings the score to 26 to 15 heading into the half. Five minute half. Little break coming on up. Is, half, like is half time sponsored? I mean, we could do a little. You want to do a, a halftime sponsor drop? We could do any one of our sponsors, but you have somebody you want to shout out? We've already shouted out the ones that I'm very familiar with. Okay. So I'll let you take the reins on this one. All right, I'll tell you what. We're going to give a shout out to our friends at Wolf Flagship Brewery for Wolfhound Nitro Beer Specialist. This is actually the official beer of Nobody Cares Sports Network. Now, there's a lot of different breweries it. out there, but. This specific beer, well, it's St. Patrick's Day weekend, and this beer was actually made in collaboration with Porter House Brewing Company in Dublin, Ireland. Whoa. So it's similar to a Guinness, and this is as Irish as you can get, Irish Americana, here St. Patrick's Day weekend. I love a good stout. Make sure you check out our friends at Flagship Brewery and have yourself a refreshing Wolfhound Nitro beer. That was, that was my sponsor drop. There you go. Good job, Danny. Now, well, first half is officially over. Second half is going to be back in a moment. Danny Shannon and Leanne Forsyth on the call. And Bookie. And Bookie. Who is our broadcast booth powered by? Main Street Coffee.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This place is bumping loud at best. We got teachers doing home run celebrations. I'm going to have PTSD. We got people all over the sides. It's crazy in here. We got four different benches. You had no idea what I was telling you to do broadcasting for either when I invited you out. <laughs> Friday at 3. Be there. I was like, where? For what? Really would like more information. I found out time. today there was more than one game. But I'm down for it. No, it'll always the be back like to that. back to back to back to back. Back to back to back. Now 24 is looking to get back into this ball game as it's back to back offensive right, shot look. opportunities. We got, we got a little chat going on the live stream. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we got some questions. What's oh. the score? The score is 26 to 15. It's on the top right hand. I was right also hand. yelled at because apparently Tommy Corson graduated from St. Peter's and not Curtis. And that's why his son's going to Curtis. To Peter's. Yeah, there you go. It's been, a, on, it's been a long day. Send your hate mail to the Commodore in Florida, the bookie. <laughs> Sorry for the misinformation, Corson family. I'm not. We should have known better that a St. Peter's boy would never send his child not to St. Peter's. Never, never. Now Scott brings it across the timeline, looking to get money here in the second half for the first time. 26 15. Split in the to middle, score. Scott. Ooh, can't Let's get it to go. Scoop. No good. Fahim going the other way, laying it up and in. He is strong. Everyone else looks like a string bean. He looks like a football player. 26 17's our score. Arango, Reinhold, a three. Can't get it to go. Arango battles for the board. It's off his fingertips. And it's going to be IS 24 basketball. Some. Something's happening. Something is happening. <laughs> I'm not sure what. <laughs> Sage with it. Into the high post. Turn Burke. around jumper. And oh, it's good. A silky smooth one is buried from the left elbow. From the big man. Burke gets it to go. And it's 29 to 6. 26 to 19. My they're, dyslexia came in. They're face guarding Scott, it seems like. Ooh, Not gonna let him. Go. Wild shot. Can't get it to go. Evo tries to get the offensive board shot. That said, a foul is called. Foul called on Sage, I believe. He's got some, some head of hair. Red hair, just... Ginger, as Bookie, as, Bookie, calls. as Bookie calls it, Ginger. Can't hear anything. I can hear that. I know. I heard that with the headphones on. That was your problem. Who Bookie? said he needed a microphone? He doesn't need anything. <laughs> he doesn't need it. He needs to get fired. He doesn't. He doesn't need food or water. <laughs> Only shelter. It's five days out. Evo goes 0 for two from the charity stripe. It's going to be 24 as basketball. Nearly two minutes gone by in the third quarter of play. Seven point ball game. Fahim brings it across the timeline. Gets it into Burke. Oh, happy He's feet. He's going to be called yeah. for a travel. Switch that pivot foot after he turned. Happy Feet's a great movie. Yeah. It's, I love the little pitter patter. Yeah. Robin Williams did great things there. Now Scott brings it across successfully. Kicks it out to Corson in the right corner. Back to the basket. High post a jumper. Rango. Can't get it to go. Fahim with the board for 24. Brings it across. Ooh, coast to coast. Down it and the foul. What'd you see there on the end of it, Leanne? Uh, well, first, I saw a travel. And it seems like they're discussing whether that happened or not. Uh, maybe a little shoving happened between these two guys. So we've got... They seem okay about it. 26 21s our score after the bucket. Fahim turned around and put his chest into Corson and bumped him. Ref blew a whistle and just said, I want to get control yeah. here. No time. Made no him, technicals. Made him shake hands. Good sportsmanship all around. No issues between those two guys. They both seemed unaware of what happened. Hey man. Just like us. Just like us. They're just like us. <laughs> People on YouTube seem to know I'm going bankrupt from fruit baskets. Why not keep it going? Fahim trying to make it 
A three-point play. No good. Rebound. Wow, no what an good. aggressive board. Rebound. Third time's a charm. 26 to 23. Down by three points. They have come storming back here in the third quarter. And the great kills fan base is on their feet. It's got down to a one possession game here. Back 30 to go in the third quarter. Bookie's fired up. I'm Danny Shannon with Leanne Forsyth. What's up? What's I'm, up? We're, I, I, I'm having a great time. You having fun? I'm having a good time. The only thing that could be better would be some cushions for these beach seats. I'm getting a little uncomfy we're, in this. I'm sorry. Thing. I'm going to have to get invest. You a we're going to have to invest. Time. Yeah. Well, this is quite a finish or second half. Starts at the second half, really, because where we were in the first half, a lid on the basketball hoop. But now, I mean, we've got ourselves a boys varsity championship that is worth the price of admission. And if you're tuned in at home, you're watching right now for free, thanks to our sponsors on the bottom line. We got some more issues coming out from this timeout. It's not really an issue, they're just getting chippy, you know what I'm saying? This ref is gonna have his eyes on him now. I see a couple of fouls, maybe a technical coming in the future. He, the ref, the ref looks stressed. Bring the camera right a little bit there, Bookie. There you go. Cleaning up some sweat in the corner. Now they'll get it into course in plainly. Orango with it now. Now they're in a man-to-man. -man. Someone listened to my stream and passed on the advice. Goes right with a power move and gets it to go. Stretches the lead to five. 28-23. Sage, Sage for three. three. And it's good. Buries it from downtown. 28-26. Scott brings it across the timeline. Now dribbles it back out. Fires a three off no the mark. Way. Rebounded Orango. And it's going to be IS 24 ball after the whistle. This is crazy for a middle, a public middle school basketball <laughs> game. Wild right now. That's High why post, nobody back cares to this stage, year. into the low post. Turn on jumper, to no go. good. Orango gets the board. And a double dribble is called. IS24 will have the basketball. 4.30 to go here in the third quarter. It's getting intense. Anything more in the chat? No, no nobody they, cares. They Here's a three it. from the corner. Won't go. Orengo gets the board. He gives it to Scott. Scott, floor manager looking to take some control of this game. Get them back on pace. As we approach the four minute mark here in the third quarter. Orango fires a long jumper, won't go. Rebounded by 24. Burke Sage. brings it across. Sage is wide open. They missed him on the block. Sage for three. in the corner. Pump fake now gets it back. back in the lane. Sutter step throws it up. And it's three second violation Ooh. going against 24. It'll be IS61's basketball. Scott receives the ball. He brings it across the timeline from right to left. Spin move, drives the lane, loses, loses it. it. It'll stay 61 basketball. Hang in there, Bookie. You're doing a hell of a job. He's fist pumping. Get him to the Jersey Shore. Inbound to Kevin Corson. One dribble across. Oh, two. wild pass from Corson. It would have been good if it got there. No. But it didn't. had the right idea. He's got good court vision. It's all there. Just a little bit of patience. 27 with the ball coming down. Three minutes to go. 61 up by two. Fahim gives up the dribble. High He's got to give it off. He does. Burke now. Thinks about the three-pointer. Sends a pass. That's a Fahim on a give and go. And they get it. All tied up at 28. Listen to this crowd. Can they hear it? It is like a high school environment in here tonight. 
28 all. Arango going to the line as he spelled on the shot attempt. He can't get it to go. Two shots going from the charity stripe. 2.36 remaining here in the third quarter of play. See ring pops make a comeback. A lot of kids with ring pops. Yeah, you've seen it today. Yeah, I think they're it? selling them at the snack stand. Uh, of course, I can't have one. It's impossible. Yeah. Rango hitting a tough shot in the jungle. 29-28, our score. You can barely hear yourself think in this environment. They have... They have people watching underneath the basket. I've never seen that. Just crazy. <laughs> Arango drains the second. It is 30 to 28. Talk about ice water in your veins. Lewison brings it across the timeline. He's hounded by Scott. IS 61 coaches wanted a backcourt violation. Burke fires a 16 footer and buries it baseline. He's got a really nice pull-up jumper. I wish he would use it more from the high post. 30 to 30 is our score as we approach Scott. the two minute mark. Three. Scott buries one from downtown. 33, 30 is our score. Two minutes to go in the third. Sage down the middle, kicks it out. Blocked. Oh, blocked. Reinhold with an unbelievable defensive play. Scott brings it across the timeline. Backs it out. Calls his offensive set, working with his left hand, directing traffic with his right. Controlling the pace of this game, doing what he does best. On the left wing, a oh. bounce pass. Turn around, <laughs> jumper, go! He stepped over him. I love this. I love this. High post entry. Burke thinks about it. Almost turns it over, gets it back. Up MacArthur. to Sage. Sage Water to Burke, to off Burke. his head. Back to three. MacArthur fires the three. No Can't good. get it to go. Reinhold with the board. Scott corrals it under one, one minute. minute to go in the third quarter. Controlling the pace once again. Scott's got the ball, 45 to go. No shot clock, remember. Largest lead for 61 here in the third quarter as we approach 35 seconds remaining in the period. doesn't want to play defense. IS 61 hyping up the home crowd. Scott, well, shake and Dazen. bake, working with his right. He's fouled as he gains access to the paint. Lewison does not like the call. Tackled by his teammate, basically, to yeah, keep him away from the stay away from the rest. Yeah. You don't really see that in the third quarter of a game. We got fourth quarter energy. Nothing new. Oh, we got something new in the chat. Fruit baskets. Cool. I don't know. Somebody said, Mike, it's about, to, he said it's about time that we had somebody in the booth like you. That's all they're saying. Yeah, let me see. Ref says, my Aww. mistake. It's going to stay. IS61 basketball. The clock's clock still running. running. The clock's still running. They'll have Pop to get it. it in. Fires it at the buzzer. Rango no can't get it to go. 35-30, 61 leads, but not by much. Eight minutes to go. Trying to control some of these watchers, getting in the way of Bookie. Well, it's about to be the fourth quarter of action, ladies and gentlemen. It's IS61 with a five-point lead. We've got Leanne Forsyth on the call. I'm Danny Shinata, but doing play-by-play. 
Uh, shout out to Anthony Pennsylvania on the call this afternoon as well. Yes. John Boyle joined us for a little while. Chinese bookie working camera. We're doing it out here for the community. And they said, Dan, you got to come out. I said, listen, we're going to make these games lit no matter what. And Absolutely. these kids have put on a show yeah, where let me tell you. all we had to do was put the camera on. The crowd showed up. The kids showed up. We're having a heck of a time here. The DJ is lit. Louder music than what I experienced at the St. Paddy's Day Parade. Yeah, no, like, I haven't you. gone out in a while, and this is a lot for I me. feel it. Like, I feel the music in my chest. Yeah. And I'm across the gym from the, the percussion. Yeah. Shaking my bones. Things are getting a little chippy here. Oh, it has been chippy for some time here as these two schools seemingly don't like each other. It's a five-point contest. And they are just spreading the defense on like butter right now. Nowhere to go for the inbounders. You can see right in front, Cookie's doing a great job with the camera. What we see in front of the booth, you're seeing at home right now. Picked off. It is stolen, counted, oh, and the foul! That's one way to start this fourth quarter defensively. Not the way you want to start if you're IS-61. The conventional three-point play. We got, oh man, I'm going to let you take that last name. Leo Koku at the Co line. Koku, that's what I was going to go with. But, yeah. All right. Just got to read it quick and confidently. Koku. The traditional three-point play is good. Scott inbounding. 35-33 is our score. Loses it, gets it back, puts Arango it up for two. Arango gets it back, is right. Out of control, then under control. 37-33 is our score. Sage, Sage fires a long three. Up and Can't over. Can't get it to go, and Going that is a turnover. I want everyone to watch. 17 playing defense right now. He is face guarding Scott, not letting Crazy. the floor manager get a lick of this ball. Here he goes, getting it. Give him a little bit of room to breathe. Now Scott brings it across the timeline. Lewis in guarding he. Working with his right, now switching to his left, going baseline. Double Stopped team. in his tracks, sends it up top. Could Burke. be a turnover. Burke gets it coast to coast. Lays it up, counted in the foul. Oh, what a series of events. We've got our own version of March Madness here on the South Shore of Staten Island. A hustle play by Burke to get that ball. 61 looked to give up on the play in fear of getting a back backcourt call and turns into two points and a three-point play opportunity. Man, I'm so hungry. You should have packed a sandwich like I did. Oh, that's what you were eating? Ah. I knew I was going to be coming uh, straight from work with no time to eat. I need someone to take care of me and give yeah. me a lunchbox when I leave the house. <laughs> you, Burke makes it a three-point play. Wow, it's down to a one-point game, Leanne. Scott being face guarded. They're not going to let their floor manager take care of the ball. they got to find someone else to do it. Just one minute has gone by in the fourth and final quarter of play. From IS-34, the boys' varsity championship. Scott lays it up and in off the glass. Lewison wants the ball. Going left off the high screen to Sage. Underneath. Oh. Up and in. Great ball movement. Scott controlling the ball. Pass half. Left to right. Off the high screen. Backing it up. Slowing it down. Got High back roll. to Orango. Beautiful move. Left hand can't get it to go. Gets his own board, but he stepped on the line. That's the IS 24 basketball. No, it's No, stays. they're going to stay. Wow, it's going to stay. Yeah. 61 basketball. With a running clock, six minutes to go here in the fourth quarter of play. Finally, they get it into Scott. Directing traffic with his right, working with his left. Calling for a high screen. Instead, he's going to roll left. He's got space to shoot, but instead holds on to it. Now he sends it into Orango. Baseline, turnaround jumper, won't go. Lewison 
with the rebound. Slips for a moment, keeps the dribble, and brings it across the timeline. Now the kick out. For three. A three from the no right good. wing. Won't go. That's a foul. Rebounded by Arenko, and a foul called against 24. Koku is going to be charged. has just taken the lead. Leanne, what'd you see on that play? A little mix up, 61 scored in the wrong basket. That is, that is now two games yeah, so where we've happened, seen that right? happen today. That, did that, was that the championship game that that happened it, in? They're in all the championships today, yeah. Well, the JV, I the J, I believe it was the JV game. Yeah. Might have been the varsity, That's though. crazy. I haven't seen that happen in years. And it's happened twice. twice today. That's crazy. I can't say anything. I scored a goal. Was a timeout my called? own goal when I played lacrosse in high school yeah lacrosse how yeah. you you were staring at your teammate luckily and you for shot, me you still shot the ball i forget who the writer for the advance was but they said my name was stan Shanad instead of dan i was like that's good enough for me. <laughs> i'll hide from the shame <laughs> oh there was no hiding where did you go curtis my friends were ruthless and i'm a warrior that's why i get so much hate mail in this town man well, there's a big discussion going on between the coaches, the refs. So much happening right now. Why don't you get a look at that action over there, Bookie, with those coaches and refs. Now teams are going back to their own respective huddles. Shout out to the Commodore tuned in in Florida. Famous Amos Wilson in Virginia and wherever you may be. You got it locked right now with Nobody Cares Sports Network for free on the YouTube channel. As Coach E would say, we're approaching scary hours under five minutes to go here in the fourth quarter of play in the boys' varsity championship for the public schools here on Staten Island. Full court press going on. Ball gets inbounded to Scott. And it looks like they're going to play it on the right hoop this time as Scott will bring it across the timeline, dribbling from right to left. Working around a screen. Gains access baseline. Pivots it out. Arango with it Down now. Down the middle. Wild shot. Won't go. Sage battles for the board. Doesn't get a the second Knights chance. The Knights go up with the board. Oh, what a play from Joshua Peabody. 24 controls the board. Lewison calling for it. Peabody with a massive rebound and bucket for the Knights. Sage on the left wing, going right down the middle, dishes it off, two points. Joku making it look easy. And 24 might have just taken their first lead of the game, I think. Now it's been some time, 42-41's our score as we approach the four minute mark here in the fourth quarter of play. A one point difference between these two teams. Scott, Scott fires, fires a three, no won't good. go. Peabody with the rebound, goes back up, no Peabody good. Peabody again. He's the X Factor on the offensive glass right now. Fahim gets it. 335 remaining here in the fourth quarter of play. Lewison tells his team to calm down. IS61's got to come up and play defense. There is no shot clock here in this eighth grade championship game. They're sitting in that zone. Kevin Corson comes out. I'll see what they can do with it. Burke kicks it into the corner for Sage and a Stole. turnover. Oh. Scott has it for the Knights. He brings it across the timeline. Down by one, three minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Kevin Corson curls to the middle. Fires three. a three. What it goes. goes! The friendly bounce off the back rim and drops. 44, 42, 245 to go in the fourth. High Goku tied up at 44. Peabody's wide open. They don't see him. 
He didn't even know he was wide open. Didn't even look for the ball. 2.30 remaining here. Arango with the right. Second Taps chance opportunity. No. Rebounded instead by 24. Lewison streaking down the right-hand side, and they get him for an easy, easy. Easy bucket up and in, and they've got the lead. Fahim coming down. 46-44, Arango with the offensive board, throws it up, no. Peabody. Peabody in there, he can't get his hands on it. Stays Last 61, touch on 24, it'll stay, IS 61 basketball. 61 calling for a timeout, and they will get it. Two minutes to go, 44 to 46. 61, who was winning nearly the entire game, now down by two. 46-44, wow, what a finish here on the fourth game of a quadruple header. Well, of course, want to give a shout out to TPM, contracting all phases of interior and exterior. Reach out to them today, tell them nobody cares, send you get 10% off whatever it is you're doing, no matter what the work. Family owned, fully licensed and insured and proud supporter of all things local. 347-612-5063. Contact TPM Contracting today. Leanne Forsyth on the call doing color commentary. Biggie what Smalls up, through up. the ones and twos. Danny Shannon doing play-by-play. TGIF, bumpin', baby. Bumping, bumping, bumping. Blowing up like you thought I would. Call the crib, same number, same hood, Boogie. Two minutes on the clock. It's IS 24 with a two-point lead. Their first lead of the fourth Long quarter. inbound picked off. Arango no, gets it back. It. Scott with it now. Scott working around a screen. Passes it to Arango. Aaron Lee, 24, comes up with it the other way. Koku lays it up. And Fahim poked away. Controlled by Peabody into a loose ball. He still got it, oh. now loses it, Coco. Coco comes up with it. Burke brings it across the timeline. He finds Sage in the corner, Coco. pass baseline, and Coco steps out of bounds. It's gonna be ninth basketball. 126 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Scott controls the ball, a minute 20 to go. His team down by two. Fires, Fires a three, no can't good. get it to oh. go. Oh, an aggressive, hard fought play for the rebound. Two Knights collide. Yeah, the referee is gonna call a timeout here as the players are injured on uh, the court. That was Scott with, with a heads up play. He fouled to stop the play so that the two, heads up the, is right. the two players that got hurt would they wouldn't be down five, five to three, you know? Derek Evo, number six of the Knights, laid out his entire body for that rebound. Yeah. And he ended up colliding with his teammate. Evo seemingly made of that championship fabric, knowing that he has to lay it all on the line and empty his tank. And he's doing so here tonight. 108 remaining here in the fourth quarter of play. Inbounded to Sage, back to Lewison. Almost Bounded. double, ooh, that should have been a double That should have been. Instead, the ref's gonna say it's deflected. They can't seem to foul him. An easy bucket underneath won't fall. Burke with the left. He's fouled and he'll go to the line to shoot two. They are up four, 51.5 seconds remaining. Burke at the foul line. Everyone seemingly upset. This place is wild, ago. dude. Drills the first. Pushes 24's lead to five. Can they make it six and basically put it out of reach? Cash shows up. 44 to 50, 
61's got to work quick if they want to get it back. I mean, what a comeback. It's crazy. They were down by, From like, IS-24. Yeah, they were down by, like, what, 14? Fit point? 17 points yeah. at one point. The Knights just fell asleep and let them come back into it. Calling a push. Some foul called. Not really sure on who, for what. <laughs> the, this entire marathon of games, the refs haven't really been giving us hand signals to let us know what the no, calls have been. We might as well not even be here. We got a timeout call? Yeah. Timeout called on the floor. It looks like IS24 is going to call that timeout. So we'll give a shout out to our friends at Qualitech Computers, official technology provider of Nobody Cares Sports Network. You may have noticed that we're going to be broadcasting baseball and softball this spring. We're able to get internet wherever we go because of our friends at Qualitech Computers. Supporting local this spring. You need to support local with them at all times. Get them for IT, for your business, or whatever it is. I don't know. The computers, internet, the whole thing's a mystery to me. Reach out to Adam Anoni and Qualitech Computers. The team's come out onto the court. Listen to Bookie, this we're crowd. live. 43-7, 43 seconds, Bookie. Come on. Check Lotto scores later. We can do it, Leanne. Bookie, you got this. Here we go. Scott sets inbound, the inbound. inbound. The Orengo gets it. Right. Drives into the lane. He's fouled. Can't get the shot to fall, but going to the line to shoot two. That was during that. Orengo shooting two. Sinks it. The environment in here is just crazy. Say hi. What's up? There you go. What's up, camera? No. Orengo setting up for a second shot. I really do believe that the refs should be getting these people out from underneath the rim. I feel like it's a little unfair. They got TikTok dances going on right in front of them shooting foul shots. It's a lot happening. And Drills both for of the them. Charity strike. It's a four-point game. 37.4 seconds uh, remaining. That's a tough call. Peabody used the baseline to cut it off. He got driven right into, and they called it a block. Not sure how I feel about that one. I don't Ooh. know who this Mike guy is in the chat, but I'm appreciating that he says that Just I'm fall smart. Just for any man on the internet. I'm smart and a pleasure to listen to. Thank you, Mike. Oh, no. I wish I could somehow take money away from her. <laughs> Fahim comes up short from the charity stripe, and a lane violation is called against Arango from the Knights. And now a technical foul. Oh. And after all that's gone on in the game, I can't believe that now we're choosing to call a technical yeah. foul. There have been many opportunities to his, do so. And his outburst wasn't towards the ref. He turned it was away. For himself. He turned yeah. away. He turned away and expressed his frustration. He wasn't yelling at the ref. He didn't try and go at the ref. He, I agree. He turned around and walked away while jumping. And I think that that was a very rough technical foul call. Oh, given the amount of, you haven't called the T all game and there's 36.6 seconds remaining, it's a two possession ball game. Rightfully so, the IS61 coaching staff have set and you know, like I said, I love refs, I love coaches, I love team, I love everything about local sports, but I'll take sides, right? In this particular moment, yeah. um, I don't agree with the technical foul being called. It's a very rough time to call it during the game. The boys from 61 are huddling up, trying to get a game plan going. Refs are talking to both sets of coaches, trying to explain what's going on. There's moms and stuff on the court, like directing their <laughs> kids on the next play. 
I hate that so much. <laughs> like when I go to a CYO game and you hear like the one set and Island Mom being like, Johnny. Oh, we got boos going. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, the fans in attendance are now booing the coaching staff. Well, this is that the, are, you know, teeing off on the referees saying, hey. This is the longest discussion that I've seen ever happen. And I'm surprised that, you know, you already gave out one. Why not just pull the trigger? Now, the, anybody, now, the, now the refs themselves are discussing it, and it seems like they might be taking it back. The referee kind of looks like Shohei Otani. He seems yeah, so no. sweet, and they're being so mean. They're being very unfazed. I don't know really what's oh, going on. Oh, they are unfazed. The refs are 100% unfazed yeah. by the yelling. I mean... What a, what a long stoppage, though. Yeah, this is going on for uncomfortably long. They got to either shut that down somehow or just walk away from it because the game's got to go on at this point. I mean, it's been longer than the accrued amount of time that's left in the ball game. Bookie and has to get home. Leanne's he got reservations. His, Bookie and, has to eat his first meal of the day. Yeah, my stomach is also eating itself, Leanne. So. I packed a sandwich. I hate that. The I refs hate, are continuing to discuss. I hate your preparation skills. Anything new in the chat? No, no. No. They don't love us. If you love Leanne, the, um, the refs seem to be now discussing this even further. I don't know what. Now the 24 coach is talking to the 61 coach. Did they take back the technical? I don't know. I wish that we could get like what one of they're saying one and one. Referees are signifying signifying that there's a one and one, but they're not letting anyone line up, which is very strange. So how can it be a yeah. one and one if nobody can go for the? What do you mean? It's rebound. a one. It's a one and one. So this must be a technical foul shot. Let's see if the ball lies. Ball don't lie. Fahim is off the mark on the first. The ball, ball don't lie. The ball has never lied. No. Ever in its life. This is... So now Burke is going to step up for a shot. Ball don't lie. Ball has never lied. 0 for 2. From the charity stripe. Burke looking to put his team maybe a little further out of reach. No good. There you go. They go 0 for 3 0 for, for the three charity stripe. One. And do you know why, Leanne? Because ball does not ball, lie. Leanne. Ball has never lied. No. That was also like, you know, like when you ice a kicker? Sometimes That's kind of like what the coaches just did, yeah. discussing for that long, that the shooters had so much time to think about. Now yeah, Lewisin gets it now, and he's got plenty of space. Ooh. He's going to be fouled hard by Arengo. 32.7 seconds remaining in the ball game. A four-point game remains. 61 trails by two possessions. Nice 24 one. moments away from pulling off an improbable upset. Trailed by as many as 17 this game. The first for the charity stripe is Cash. It is a five point game. Looking to push it to six. No. Second one's off the of mark. Rebounds. Oh, that is a bad call. Yeah, no, he got called for an over the back <laughs> when he just foul when he happens to be a foot taller yeah. than the other player going for the ball. And he never raised, he never. What's happening? What is happening? Well, it looks like the clock didn't stop and it continued to go. Something to do with the clock. Something to do with the moon. Is it a full moon? No, we're far from it. Is this ref going to turn into a werewolf? 51-46 is our score. 
The Morris Knights trail by five. The referees try to get control of this ball game as we come down the stretch. There's a lot of discussion happening. And as much as I love heart-to-hearts between men, I'm not loving how long this is taking. There's a long, oh my <laughs> God, dude, tell me about it. That over the back call on Burke was, he went right up, his arms never What's came down. Because, and I, he actually didn't jump. Yeah, he just, just, you know, he he just, just put his up arms, the ball. like if his arms were like straight out, like in front understand. of him, I yeah, can understand, can but understand. his arms were straight over his head. As I mentioned, there were some, uh, you know, they did such a great job of letting them play. Yeah. But I think what happened was it, it got, got to the point where it got a little, a little out of control. Yeah. And they thought, well, let's let's get the calls going. Yeah. At that point, there was three minutes left in the yeah. fourth. So he comes up empty at the charity stripe, Leanne. 29.9 seconds to go. Do you know why he came up empty at the charity stripe? No, I don't. It's the ball don't lie. I understand. Well, IS-24 is going to have a couple shots here to ice this game and possibly send the people home. I'm back to holding my microphone like a baby. Are you, you are, well, I was holding it like this earlier. That's nice. I it was so, it was so heavy that I didn't want to drop it. Those are expensive, so I, yeah. I appreciate it. Well, the first throw for him is cash at the charity stripe. 52-46 is our score. 29.2 seconds to go. Second one is also money. Scott flying down the court. Got to get something quick. Pulls up for three. No good. Rebound. Up for three again. He's fouled. Are they going to say it's for three or for two? We, once again, no hand signals. I don't know. I guess we'll find out when you guys do. Backyard basketball. I just blow the whistle. <laughs> Foul. Knock it off, you two. <laughs> Line up. Three. He's holding up three. Three shots. Thank you, Bookie. You can't go by Bookie. You, you know you no, can't I, trust I saw, him. I saw the ref right. doing it. Okay. And then, and then I looked over and I saw that Bookie was corroborating. The I just story. want to make sure you're not trusting Bookie. I would never. Okay. First one's Ooh, good. Orango. He has been lights out from the free throw line all evening, though. Orango. Second is good. I really hope that the people at home can hear this crowd. This is a high school playoff game environment. It's crazy in here right now. I've had that. college playoff games that weren't as loud as this, I think. <laughs> Mr. Coach Eball. It's Coach E. Who's Coach E? Elliot Wilson. Where's the coach? New to our high school. Third one, no good. Rebounded oh. by Burke. Scott fouls to send Burke to the line. They might be shooting two at this point. With five point five seconds remaining in the game. Uh, 18.1 18. seconds no, remaining. No, I think I believe that that might have been Scott's fifth foul. Scott might have just fouled himself out. Yeah. And that will Scott do it for out. Noah Scott, who is fouled out of the game. As the team captain that led his own team to two straight borough championships. Oh, they can hear the crowd. It is crazy in here. I'm not gonna be able to hear the 20, myself. The 24 crowd is definitely a lot rowdier than the 61 crowd. So these foul shots will be quieter. 100%. But those foul shots have been so loud. Crazy how packed this gym has been all day. Yeah. It slowly trickled in, but even for the JV girls game, like I had somewhat a difficult time getting up to this, up to the booth because there was just someone on each side, you know. You can't get in and out of this place now. Yeah, no. I'm trapped. You and can't these get are parents. in and out of the garden easily. Once you're in, you're in. Burke on his first of two. It's good. Cash. Eighteen point one seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. 
Shots up. It's good. Burke with ice in his veins. 55-48, 15 61. seconds to go. Heaves a three-pointer. Peabody with the rebound out to Kevin. He chucks it anyway. Wouldn't have been good, but what is the call? I think there's a foul going against Sage here mm. on the Peabody rebound attempt. Peabody's been a monster on the I'm courts. a big fan. Yeah. Honestly, he came off the Where bench today. A lot of energy. He is a part of a national championship club football program. And that's very impressive. He's a great athlete all around. Ooh, wee. First one from the charity stripe for Peabody is no good. And this IS24 fan section can start to feel it. Gets on the sidelines, starting to smile. Coaches starting to hug. Second one from the charity stripe for Peabody good. is cash. 10 seconds, clock's running, and another, another foul call. How do you like that, Liam? I am loving this, let yeah. me tell you. I feel like William Wallace at the end of Braveheart. I just want to scream <laughs> freedom. Does anybody <laughs> care that that's what I want? And we may have a turnover here, ladies and gentlemen. Five-second violation, it would appear. Six-point spread. They got to get a quick three. Corson fires goes, a three. Can't get it to go. That seems like it'll be it. Six seconds to go. Down by six. 24's ball, and they will dribble it out. That's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. IS24 pulls off the improbable comeback and takes down IS61 for the eighth grade boys varsity title. The emotion here, the love from the crowd. A little bit of attempted court rushing. What a great game. They're going to exchange handshakes. Both teams, coaches from opposite teams showing the players some love. Good sportsmanship all around after a hard-fought battle. Leanne, it was a tremendous day here in was. basketball. The back-to-back-to-back. Um, to back to back. 55 to 49, IS24 comes away with the victory. More importantly, nobody cares sports. Dominating local sports. <laughs> Crushing it here in the community. Bookie, unbelievable job. You're not fired, pal. Leanne, I hope you have a great time at Blue tonight. Thank you. I hope that you get to something. Some, something. Tell a, happy birthday to your the friend. Wolfhound. Yeah. A no, she, she matched into med school. Oh, dope. I got to give her a shout out. A little inappropriate. My friend Lauren Furchette. She Do it. Four years of med school. She just matched into residency. Her number one choice down in Sarasota, Florida. So now I got a new vacation spot. I'm very proud of her. Shout I out to it. you, Lauren. That's fantastic. We like to have smart people associated with the She's network. so smart. That's why we She's have brilliant. Leanne. So then six degrees of separation. <laughs> Leanne, she doubled tonight as a model as well as an analyst. You were a color commentator. You did an unbelievable job. Thank you, Danny. Appreciate you. Every day of the week, Bookie, you did unbelievable. Bookie! No religion, no politics. Just feel good sports vibes. That's what we do. Until next time, Monday. Nobody cares. Monday, 3 o'clock for Richmond High School. We're broadcasting the volleyball middle school championships. Once again, IS schools going at it. Are you inviting me to that? Was that I an don't invite? know. We're, I have to figure out what the hell's going on, but we're going to broadcast that. All right. What do you do? Physical therapy for a living? Yeah, I do. We'll figure it out. Who's our broadcast booth powered by? Main Street Coffee. Now we're talking. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, no religion, no politics, just feel good sports vibes. Nobody cares. Good night, everybody.